When you head out to fish in a saltwater fishing tournament, you go out there with hopes that the species that you're targeting is going to be the one that ends up on the end of your line. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Damn! Holy sh! Holy sh! Big fish! It's coming out, you Ed! Seriously! <laughs> Holy crap! It's gonna come up to your left. It's running. In this video, I'm out there on the water in Avalon, New Jersey, fishing the Duke of Fluke tournament that's held by Sterling Harbor Bait and Tackle, and it's all fluke fishing, and this is obviously not gonna be a fluke. Damn. Look at how much line it took. Holy. Dude, it fit right through. So I used to be a shark fisherman for quite a few years, and that was definitely a shark. I'm guessing it was a nice sized brown shark that picked up that bucktail bouncing off the bottom. There we go. That's a good one. For this tournament, the kayak division is really just single largest fish, so you can only weigh one fish, so the goal for the day is not to go out and pick up anything that's a slot or under slot. We really don't want the small fish. Luke it's all about finding the big ones, but as you can see, it's kind of a slow start, but it's also a very aggressive bite with these smaller fish. So if you watch the rod tips and the way that they're biting and how quickly I'm setting on these fish, you'll be able to see a little bit of a trend developing throughout the day. Now I said that these smaller fish were very aggressive and really hard hits. So you'll see that right here as I'm working this. You'll see the quick hit and the very quick set. So it was an aggressive bite on this and it's going to turn out, as you can see here, to be an under slot fish. So under 17 inches. Again, this is a single largest fish for the tournament. It's nothing that I could even keep legally, but it's nothing you'd want to weigh in in a tournament anyway. So now I know at the very least, the small fish are going to have an aggressive, quick, hard hit. And now it's time to start looking for some of the bigger ones and hope that the luck will turn around a little bit. Now for this fish, I start to get into more quality. Now keep an eye on the rod tip and see how I'm working it actively. There's no resistance on the bottom. I'm just bouncing it right off the bottom and letting it touch every once in a while. But right here, you can see I stopped and I'm doing a very, very slow lift. And what I'm looking for is a twitch on the end of the rod. And right there, you saw it. As soon as I got that extra twitch, that was the flounder off the bottom trying to regain the bottom and I slammed it on. Well, I got my over. Nineteen and a quarter. So this one does measure in at nineteen and a quarter, and for this tournament it's by weight, not length, so not quite sure that's gonna be good enough, but you can see right here the Sorry, same man, type of bite right? on this next fish. Watch the rod tip, watch what I do with it. I get slow right about here. And now it's a slow lift. Line twitch and set. There we go. That was on the, uh, the fluke tail. Um, so the way that it hit, and the way the other big one hit is it just grabbed it and sat. Didn't take off.
Jesus Christ. Now, this one was hooked deep. It was inside its mouth still. It didn't get all the way down into the major organs, didn't touch the gills, but you're going to see a decent amount of blood here. That's why I offer it out to see if somebody else wants to keep it. I'm not 100% sure this is going to live, but it should be a fairly superficial wound to it. it. Again, it didn't get any of the organs. It was not in the gills. It was just still inside the very back of the mouth, and I think it's going to be okay. It's 18 and a half. You want it? It doesn't measure out to a length that I need or that's going to be productive, so it goes back. I caught a couple of over slots, but nothing... I got a 19 and a quarter is the biggest one and an 18 and... This one's going to measure out a little bit bigger than the others so far. And it's going to be caught on a live spot that's on a Captain Hank's fathead yeah. jig. It might be... It might be a big fluke. Lordy Lou. Lordy Lou. Excuse my language. Well, that's on the, uh, the big head. So onto the measuring board, it is going to measure out bigger than the other two over slots that I already caught. This one's going to actually come in close to 19 and three quarters. It's going to end up weighing 2.65 pounds, which is not going to put me in the money. And you can tell I know it at this point of the day. Still not a winning fish. So look at all that space in front of me. And this is what we have happening. We have an entire channel in front of us. This guy decides he's going to make his own way directly next to the sod banks where we're fishing. We're coming up onto the sod, drifting back down the ledge. And he's not fishing or anything. He's just kind of traversing the area and he just goes right behind us. So just thought it was funny and I'd include it, but that's the kind of stuff that happens on a, uh, a weekend down in South Jersey. So that's the Duke of Fluke tournament popping up on the screen right now is another flounder video and a flounder playlist that I think you'd like to check out after watching this. I'll see you over there.